hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to make this easy but delicious cow food and tripe pepper soup let's get started so in here i've got my nicely washed cow foot as well as my cow tripe so they have all been nicely washed properly for garnish, I'll be using a combination of basil and parsley, but you don't have to combine the both, so you can use either. And if you're watching from Nigeria, you can use um, scent leaf, also known as nchuangu or efiri. Next here, I've got one big purple onion, a piece of small ginger, some garlic cloves, one habanero pepper, and red bell pepper. The red bell pepper here is totally optional. This is just for color. Yeah, so just in case you choose not to add it, okay? Next here, we have some blended crayfish and some blended pepper soup spice. And my pepper soup spice mix is a combination of uda, uziza seeds, and calabash nutmeg, also known as ehuru. So lastly, we have some salt to taste and for the seasonings, I'm using a combination of beef and shrimp seasoning. Feel free to use any seasoning you prefer. So to get started, I'll be blending half of the purple onion, the whole of the ginger and garlic, and then I'm reserving half of the onion, which I'll be blending alongside with the habanero pepper and red bell pepper later. So I'll go ahead now and blend these three together to start up the cooking process. And once that is done, in a clean pot, I'll go ahead and transfer in the nicely washed cow food and cow tripe. Alright, so once I have the both proteins transferred into the pot, next I'll go ahead and begin to season the proteins with some salt and my seasoning cubes, which I'm using a combination of beef seasoning and shrimp seasoning. Like I said earlier, you may feel free to use any seasoning of your choice. And then lastly, I'll be adding the blended onion, ginger and garlic and this is all i'll be adding at this point so i'll go ahead and cover up the pot and allow the content to come to a boil at this stage it is boiling nicely so i'll go ahead and give it a good good stir allow the proteins to absorb all the seasonings we added and get very very tasty before adding water so after stirring i'm just going to cover and allow this to continue cooking on a medium heat for 10 minutes And it's been cooking now for about 10 minutes so at this stage i will go ahead and add in some hot boiled water from my kettle because i want the cooking process to continue and not drop and once that step is completed i'm just going to go ahead and scoop out some of the melted fat from the cow leg as you can see from the side of the pot we have some fats floating on top of the surface of the pot yeah so sometimes i do this off camera but today i just decided to show you how i skim off um excess fat from cooking my proteins So as it cooks, it will definitely release more fat. So even though I'm not able to take out everything, but at least I'll try to take out the most part of it. And just take a look at that. This is almost a full cup of fat. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead now and give it a good, good stir, cover and allow to cook for at least 20 minutes. And I'm cooking on a medium heat. All right, lovely. So the next thing I'm going to do at this stage is to blend the remaining onion and peppers and set aside for use later. I 
and that is done i did a rough blend but you can also blend them smoothly if you prefer all right so back to our proteins they have been cooking in total now for like 30 minutes at this stage i'll go ahead and take out the cow tribe because i don't want the tribe to be too soft and i want the cow food to cook properly as well so i'll take out the tribe then cover up the pot and allow the cow food to cook for additional 10 minutes before bringing everything together so i'm going to set this aside now cover up the pot and allow the cow food to cook for additional 10 minutes So now it is time to bring everything together. I'll go ahead and add back the cow tribe. I'll also add in the pepper soup spice. Add the blended crayfish. The blended onion and peppers. So now stir well to combine then taste your seasoning and adjust if needed once that step is completed cover up the pot and allow to continue cooking on a medium heat for 10 minutes now while this is cooking i'll quickly move over to chop my basil and parsley because we are almost done cooking My kitchen smells so amazing and I wish you all can perceive the aroma. So at this stage, I'm adding the parsley and basil, which I chopped together. So if you're using scent leaf, this is the perfect time to add it in. And once that is added in, go ahead and give it a good, good stir. You can allow yours to simmer for a minute and you will be ready to enjoy. All right, family, so this is how you make a delicious cow food and tripe pepper soup. I hope you like this recipe and I do hope you give it a try. You can pair this pepper soup on its own with any drink of your choice or serve over some white boiled rice. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you next time with something delicious. Stay blessed and Bye for now.